Sophie did finally turn up. I said, hello, you all right? <laughs> Fairly classic greeting. <laughs> Sophie said, I don't remember you looking like this. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey. Hi, great reception. We should like to be the first to officially congratulate the other Mr. and Mrs. Parsons on their marriage. On behalf of me and my new wife, we would like to welcome you and thank you all for coming to our special day. Sophie, you are looking absolutely gorgeous. And Ian's looking quite debonair too. Even if he has come in the same suit as his dad. Me and Sophie met in the most romantic location, the queue outside Pot World, eight and a half years ago. Now tradition is for the man to buy a lady a drink, if he likes it. But I just got back from the toilet. Sophie had bought a fishbowl cocktail. And I'm a man who believes in equal rights. <laughs> I spotted a spare straw and thought, here's a great chance to save a fiver. On behalf of Ian and Sophie, a very warm welcome to the beautiful Hazel Gap Barn on this extra special day, their wedding day. Sophie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love and marriage. As a symbol of our love and marriage. I promise to care for you with love and friendship. I promise to care for you with love and friendship. To support and comfort you <laughs> through good times and through troubled times. I promise to care for you with love and with patience. To respect and cherish you. And to be faithful always. These promises I make to you for the rest of my life. Ian, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love and marriage. As a symbol of our love and marriage. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. Comfort and care for you. Comfort and care for you. Honour and protect you. Honour and protect you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. And this is my commitment to you. And this is my commitment to you. And your eyes first met back in 2014. Was the feeling mutual or was Ian just very keen? On the dance floor at Pop World, a drunken first kiss? Who knew that would end in a lifetime of bliss? 355 days ago, on a boat in the middle of Lake Windermere, I got down on one knee, well, more like fell to two at first, as it's quite hard to kneel on a rocking boat. I said in my really romantic, monotone Yorkshire voice, Sophie, you're an amazing, beautiful, caring, funny girlfriend who gets more and more amazing, beautiful, funny and caring every single day. I love you so much and I want many more amazing moments and adventures with you by my side. Sun, sea and sand as they walk hand in hand, their love getting stronger, their hearts becoming fonder. They keep being adventurous on their own little missions, enjoying cosy nights in and holiday traditions. But Sophie's the best baker, Ian's on to a win. I know, he thought, she should move in. Congratulations, you lucky, lucky man. I always knew you'd be the first to get their life together. A house, a job, a dog, a white Skoda. <laughs> and a girl that brings nothing but warmth when she enters the room. Sophie, you truly are a stunning bride, but above all else, you're thoughtful, kind, and you bring out the absolute best in Ian. I taught Ian to play tennis when he's about 12, and he showed promise. I bought him a good Prince racket, and he joined Thorncliffe Tennis Club. And after that, he beat me every time. <sighs> Sophie, 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 the golden child. <laughs> to be honest, we set the bar pretty low for you, to be honest. <laughs> Sophie came out of nowhere, which was an A-star student, behaved, kind, caring, and as you probably guessed by now, dad's favorite. There's a reason for this, and I think 
it's uh, I, I struggle to get this into the right words but you're just such a lovely open honest and caring person and um, you put so much into the family you bring us all together you have and always will be an incredible sister so a trip to Barcelona bagged Sophia Key when Ian officially said, move in with me. It wasn't too long after they moved in together, we all knew this was forever. So back to the lakes, hopped on a boat, a secret rock on board, they only just stayed afloat. In the middle of the lake, Ian got down on one knee, pulled out a ring and said, Sophie, will you marry me? Remember, game, set and match. Always be game for a challenge. Don't get set in your ways and match kindness with kindness. I consider myself the luckiest man to be married to such a wonderful woman, and I always will. I cherish every moment I spend with you, and I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together. Planning their wedding, feeling happy and lucky. Should we add a little curveball? I know, let's get a puppy. You've grown up together, added pickles to the mix. Whatever comes your way in life, it's nothing you can't fix. So as your married life is about to start, keep laughing and loving each other with all of your heart. The last bit I do want to say is on behalf of Dad, really, which is that he did think the absolute world of you. I think any Dad's wishes that his daughter's cared for, loved, and just made to be happy. Not only did you do that, but he knew that you did it. And we had many chats about that. He was, he was just, he thought the world of you, mate. Sophie, Jackie and I should now like to officially welcome you into our family. Although in truth, we already think of you as one of the family and wish you every happiness as Mrs. Parsons. Now, my dad and our dad was a man of very few words. He was all about actions. If you were to ask him for some marriage advice, he'd probably say something witty like, uh, shut up and nod along, it'll all be fine. I can tell you this to both of you, that he'd be so proud of you, so what you've become and what you're doing, and he'd be so, so proud that you're marrying the man that he fought so much of. I know how proud the father feels when his daughter gets married, and I'm sure Paul would have felt the same. I'm sure he is with us in spirit and in our hearts. Keeping you as a couple, as a pair, on behalf of your family and friends, I mean it when I say we'll always be there. Now let's get back to the day ahead. Here's to Ian and Sophie, the newlyweds. Please raise a glass for the bride and groom and be sure to take an extra long sip as Ian's informed me that tonight's entertainment will consist of nothing but cheesy pop music. <laughs> to the bride and groom! <laughs> Woo! So, before she changes her mind, please could everyone raise their glasses to my outstanding new wife, Mrs. Sophie Parsnips.